New day, new creepypasta. This time around, going for Eilis Jack, who is considered one of the more popular uh, male creepypasta characters besides uh, Slenderman and Jeff the Killer. As depicted, laughing, uh, not laughing, <laughs> I almost said laughing Jack. No, it's Eilis Jack is usually depicted as a demon kid with ash gray skin, razor sharp teeth, and uh, empty eye sockets, and he has a taste for human kidneys. But that's all going to be say, uh, said more in the backstory. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, I believe now it's time to dive into the backstory of Eilis Jack. Yep, here's the usual picture for Eilis Jack. Okay, so we have... I was staring face to face with a creature with a black hoodie and a dark blue mask with no nose or mouth staring down at me. The thing that scared me the most was that it had no eyes, just empty black sockets. The creature also had some black substance dripping from its sockets. Mitch's description of Eyeless Jack. I think I remember reading the Eyeless Jack story maybe a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> Eyeless Jack is the titular main antagonist of the creepypasta story of the same name. Jack is a man-eating enigmatic serial killer with a craving for human organs. Specifically, his favorite food is the human kidney. Yeah, I said it. Look, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. It'll look right, uh, look right here at goals. Break into houses and eat the kidneys of his victims. Ongoing. I, I just said it, dude. In the original story, a man named Mitch moves in with his brother Edwin after his house is foreclosed. A week later, Mitch wakes up with a large gas on his cheek. After going to the hospital, the doctor reveals that Mitch's left kidney had been surgically removed overnight. Around midnight that night, Mitch wakes up to see Eilis Jack over his bed wearing a blue mask with black liquid dripping from empty eye sockets behind the mask. Mitch manages to grab his camera and take a picture before Jack attacks, clawing at his chest. Mitch escapes and flees into the woods where he trips and is knocked unconscious. When Mitch awakens in the hospital, it is revealed to him that Edwin had been killed the previous night. His parents drive him to the house to collect his belongings. When he enters, Mitch sees Edwin's corpse and a small object lying next to it. He observes it to find that it is his kidney with a bite taken out of it, covered in a black substance. What did I say? What did I say? Told you his favorite food is kidneys. Eyeless Jack appears as a humanoid figure dressed in an all-black hoodie and dark jeans. He dons a deep blue mask with large black empty eye sockets with a strange liquid substance trickling down from the mask. personality. Eilis Jack's personality is very difficult to understand and interpret. He gives the impression to be a silent, dark, cruel, brooding, torturous, mysterious, and taunting individual with a craving for human organs. I'm not gonna say it again. You know his favorite organ. The most popular uh, power, oh wait, powers and abilities is next, my bad, I almost skipped. Eyeless Jack isn't all that powerful, however, he is incredibly stealthy and seems to possess some degree of 
antinomical knowledge and has a thorough understanding of the human body, use of surgical instruments, and removing vital organs of the human body, showing he is intelligent. Jack also seems to be moderately strong as in one sense he as in one scene he claws at Mitch's chest and kills his brother afterwards without any trouble. I mean, also got to understand he has a surgical scal uh, scalpel as a weapon, so But to be incredibly stealthy, he has to also be incredibly quick, which I believe Eyeless Jack is. Uh, Fan-made origin? The most popular origin story is from the creator of Sally Williams, Lamishi Mishi. By the way, Sally Williams is another creepypasta that I'll be going over, but that's later on in a month. So, that's going to be a while. Jack Nichols was just like any other average college student. His only real friend was his peer and roommate, Greg. Eventually, he found a sort of friendship with another peer, Jenny, and a small group of her friends. Jack later on discovered that the group turns out to be a cult worshipping a demon. Jenny and her friends proceed to blind Jack by pouring a hot tar-like substance into his eyes, thus killing him in the process. His body is soon possessed and he butchers Jenny and the others, ripping off their masks, slashing their throats, and disemboweling them. He took their kidneys afterwards presumably as a sort of prize or the fact that it was in some way related to the cult. Okay, so that's the most popular origin story for Eyeless Jack. Got it. So that would mean Eyeless Jack's actual name is Jack Nichols? Wait, did it say that up here or no? Full name? Un unknown. I was to say, like, that's actually a pretty good origin story right there. The image of Eyeless Jack? On June 7, 2010, the original photograph of Eyeless Jack was posted on 4chan by a user named Ardenon. The title of the post was Nightmare Fuel, which contained images of disturbing creatures from video games, one of the images featuring the original photo of Jack. The story itself was written on February 25th, 2012 by a Wikia user Azel5000, also known on also known on YouTube as Papa Pinche. On wait, on September wait, no, not September. On November twenty first, twenty fourteen, the story was officially terminated from Creepypasta because the writer requested it to be taken down for thinking that since Jeff the Killer was removed, Eyeless Jack should be removed by him before the admins decided what happened to it. Uh, Eyeless facts. Eyeless Jack was created by Azel five thousand. Mm -hmm. The original story was published on the Creepypasta website on February 25th, 2012. Eyeless Jack's goals, origins, motives, age, nation uh, nationality, true name, black blood, and supposed ability to see and stay alive with presumably no eyes are never explained. While there have been fan origins, sequels, and theories, the original author never released any other Eyeless Jack content aside from the original story. It's unknown if Jack eats any other human organs other than kidneys, but some believe that it could be true. In various fan works, the Seed Eater is depicted to be his companion or pet. Huh. Wait, is Seed Eater on my list? I'm trying to see if Seed Eater is on my... No, Seed Eater is not on my list of creepypastas. That has to be for a different time, but not this month. Uh, Eyeless Jack has no signature catchphrase or quote because he's silent. He's a silent killer. Some people like to claim that Jack is simply a demonic entity from another world who feeds on human or organs in order to survive, or just to simply keep him fed. But regardless, Jack's origins will probably still remain a mystery. 
It's unknown what Jack's gender truly is behind the mask, although he's always seen as male. Eyeless Jack is considered to be one of the most popular mainstream creepypasta characters, along with Jeff the Killer, Slenderman, Laughing Jack, and Smile Dog. Tragically, the author of Eyeless Jack had the story removed from the creepypasta wiki after Jeff the Killer met his downfall, admitting to being ashamed of his creation despite its huge following. Yeah, I remember those. Alright, so this one right here is considered one of the more popular pieces of fan art for Eyeless Jack. And that one right here. What is. What? Hold on. It needs to clear up. Just empty black sockets. Yep. Yep. And this one right here is considered the original picture for Eyeless Jack. I remember seeing this picture a couple times every now and then. But in all honesty, the I'd have to say this one's my more favorite of the fan art. This one's good. Hey you, yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.